What is up, gamers and trainers? You saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. You know why I'm here, I know why you're here. Let's open some Pokemon. Right off the bat, I absolutely love this packaging. It is super colorful, super amazing, and it shows off all of the Vs in a nice spiral. Now, I already have three of these Vs, which is the Eevee, the Flareon, and the Sylveon. However, I've been unable to grab the rest of them. There should also be nine packs, which is, you know, fitting one for every single one of the Eeveelutions. Um, so, yeah, there's nine packs to open and nine V cards guaranteed. I bought this at GameStop for $70, and there's a current promo going on when I purchased it that if you bought this, you could also get a $20 gift card. So I got a free $20 gift card, um, which is the main reason why I purchased this. I definitely, I'm super excited to take a look at this. So that's the background that all these cards sit in. This is a very unique display for Pokemon. I, I don't see them often do much stuff like this. All right, so we got a Chilling Rain pack, two Fusion Strikes, two Brilliant Stars, two Astral Radiance, and then two Lost Origin. Let's take a look at the promos first before we get into anything. And then we'll open up the packs on camera. The first one here is Glaceon V. This is a new one for me. And a very cool looking card. Very glad to have it. We have Leafeon. Jolteon. Vaporeon. Flareon. Regular Eevee. Umbreon. Sylveon. And Espeon. Let's start off our pack opening with Chilling Rain, because there's only the single Chilling Rain. Black and green back. I don't think that's a good sign. We got a Psychic Energy. Porygon 2. Thwacky. Seabull. Shuppet. Squobit. Sfeel. Swirlix, Glarian Yamask, Reverse Hollow Yenipede, and then a regular Ampharos. I probably butchered some of those names, and if so, I greatly apologize. The next pack I want to open are the two Brilliant Stars packs. Um, I just, I love the look of these. Alright, we got it open. We got a white back black border. That is a good sign, I believe. One, two, three, four. To the front. An electric energy. Exeggutor. Friends in Galar. Weevil. Starly. Shroomish. Piplup. Nice card. Turtwig. Mincino. Reverse Hollow. Srola Premonition and Agron V. That is that looks like a solid card for battle. Dang. This I might need to make a deck around this card. <laughs> that's a that's a solid pull. That's a solid pull. Especially since it's a V, but like the fact that I want to build a deck with it is just that much better. I don't care how much the cards are worth. This is an automatic win for me. Um, however, look at how much energy it takes. That is insane. Absolutely crazy. Um, let's get the Brilliant Stars Pack 2 opened up. Didn't do me dirty last time, so I'm hoping it doesn't do me dirty this time. This one was a struggle to open. Oh, another black border white back. Solid. One, two, three, four. To the front. So we got a leaf energy. 
Tropius, Morgrim, Claydol, Electabuzz, Kimiko, Turtwig, Gibble, Trap Inch, Reverse Hollow Escaviler, which unfortunately I think I have. Oh! Damn! Secret Shaman V Star. That's gotta be a secret, right? With the rainbow. That is a solid pull. That's gotta be worth something. Cause that, that's gotta be a secret. Wow, look at that. That's, that's solid. I'm happy with that. Brilliant stars were some solid packs. Which one, which one do we think is going to be the luckiest? I think, I, I, I honestly don't think I'm going to beat that. Like, I got a V out of the first one and then a secret V star out of the second. But let's see. Let's open up Lost Origin. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can get some pulls today. Yeah, white, white border, white background. I don't think we're going to get any luck this time. We did get a V star marker rather than an energy. I love get v getting V-Star markers, actually. Um, Haunter, Poliwhirl, Lickly, Rockruff, Seal, Isuian, Zoru, Zorua, Snover, Machop, Chandelure, and Comfy. Comfy? Comfy. I'm calling it Comfy. I know that's probably not it, but whatever. Second Lost Origin Pack. Don't do me dirty a second time, please. I swear to God. Okay, okay. Black border, white background. That's a good sign. I'm happy with that sign. That means we're at least getting a V, I think. Energy. Se Viper. Glarian Stunfisk. Box of Disaster. Makuda. Meditite, I squove it, I see something in the back. Gilgar, Phantom, Reverse Hollow, Iskin. Draw two cards if your active Pokemon has Hisuian in its name. Draw two card, two more cards. Solid. Aerodactyl V. I am definitely, I have a deck that this would rock in. That's a solid pull. All right, we're about to get another pull with this black border, white background. All right, four to the front. Let's see, let's see. A fighting energy. Love getting those, because I don't get too many of them. Driftbloom, Grant, Pillswine, Driftloom, Psyduck. One of my favorites as a kid. Another one of my favorites as a kid, Togepi. Magmite. Ralts. Reverse hollow Miss Magnus. And then a hollow Diancel? Diancy? That's a cool hollow. Definitely gonna have to look at um, how much that one's worth, because I, I genuinely, like, I'd have no idea. Astral Radiance, not a horrible pack. Not as good as what we were pulling before, though. So let's see... Let's see if we can get back to what we were pulling with the uh, Brilliant Stars. Ah, uh, white code card. <sighs> we don't like those here. One, two, three, four. To the front. We got a Lightning Energy. So our best pull that we can get, in my opinion, would be a Trainer Art, I think. Hisuian, Overquill. Kamado. Knocked out, Her Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Scyther, Hisuian, Basun, Golduck, Reverse Hollow. I don't think I have this card, so that's solid. Then Hisuian, Arcane. I do like that Golduck. Last two packs, Fusion Strike times two. <sighs> Come on, give me something, give me something. Give me something to brag to my friends about. Damn! F 
Fighting Energy. Morgrim. A Quick Ball. You can play this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Persian. Skitty. Thanks. Shutai. Reverse Hollow Palisand. I do have this card. I don't know if I have the Reverse Hollow, though. Um, and then Senta Scorch. All right. Last pack. <sighs> Black Border. White Background. Here's the cards. One, two, three, four. We have the chance to pull something big here. Fire Energy. Sharp. Sharpedo. I do have a deck with these in it. Love having that card. Heloinsk. He Heloinsk. I don't even know. Dunsparce. Morpeko. Hmm. Smeargle. I do have that. Quillfish. Tynemo. Glarian Mouth. Reverse Hollow Zoroark. Another one that I have a deck for. And I actually, this is one of my favorite cards, so I'm going to be putting this in the decks. So. And then a Hollow Deoxys? Dang. All right. I'm going to go and put all of what I believe to be good pulls in um, Collector. And I'm gonna see how what what everything is worth. Okay, so I looked all of them up, and to no one's surprise, I think the most expensive one is the uh, secret, worth about seven dollars. Um, so we didn't pull too much, but I'm honestly fine with that. I don't collect to resell or anything when it comes to Pokemon cards. It is cool to have valuable cards. However, I just like the ones that look cool. Secrets, no matter what, always look cool, first of all. Second of all, anything that I can use in my deck to beat the shit out of my friend Holden with is also an epic win for me. So, yeah, this one was worth the most, though, to the people who care. Worth about $6.85, I believe. Next, from the pulls, worth the most was actually this one. This hollow was actually worth close to three dollars. Um, so yeah, that is uh, pretty cool. And this is not a bad card either. Um, one of its powers does 20 damage and you get to draw two cards. However, it does take one energy. It doesn't take away the energy. So once you've applied the energy, you're good. And it is only 90 HP, so you'd have to remember that. But it's not a bad card for battle. Both the Vs that I pulled are only worth about a dollar, a bit less than a dollar, actually. This one from Lost Origins. Um, definitely going to be putting in a deck. This one I might put in a deck, um, but I'd have to put in a lot of energies into it, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, would be a pretty cool Steel-type deck, though. As for all of the evolutions, most of them are worth about a dollar fifty when it comes to, you know, all of these, which I went through each one, and they're all about a dollar fifty, except for Jolteon and Vaporeon, which for some reason are worth just a little bit more at about three dollars a piece. The Flareon last I looked, it's not exclusive. I have this art and it was worth about 50 cents. Um, so I didn't look again today. It might have changed, but um, last time I knew it was like 44 cents. And then EVV was about a dollar 44, I think. Um, because it's not exclusive, but you can only get it in as a promo. So either the EVV box, or you can get it in a collector training um, battleground kind of box. And I have the battle box because me and my friend wanted to learn how to battle. And it's fun. It's very fun. And I use the EV deck all the time. So 
now I have one EVV for display and one EVV for battle, and that makes me pretty happy. With that being said, I'm glad I made this purchase. Um, I have the $20 off gift card as well um, for my next GameStop purchase, so that'll be very clutch whenever I go to GameStop next, which will probably be tomorrow, um, to get more packs for me and my friend to open it eventually. With that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I'm going to leave this off here. Thank you guys for supporting me so I'm able to make these kind of videos about opening Pokemon cards or just any of my hobbies that I really enjoy. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Good. Bye.